Jane Torval and Christopher Dean have admitted they are bored of the narrative that high TV show Dancing on Ice is fixed. They went on to insist that 2019 winner James Jordan's skating skills were very weak at the start of the show. Dancing on Ice judges Jane, 64, and Chris, 63, have been left rolling their eyes at the latest bout of accusations that their show is fixed. Some viewers have been complaining that some contestants on the popular ITV skating competition have an unfair advantage due to being professionally trained dancers. A lot of these comments were directed towards Brendan Cole, who was the first professional dancer to ever win Strictly Come Dancing with Natasha Kaplinsky back in 2004. However, the judges have insisted that Brendan's former Strictly contemporary, James Jordan, was a very weak skater before he went on to win the show in 2019. With reference to the ongoing fix rumors, Jane told The Sun, We're used to it, aren't we, Chris really? They added that they were bored of the accusations and Chris said, We're just judging what we see. But the majority of the time, it's the viewers at home that are voting to keep people in. The Olympic legends offered up 2019's winner James as an example, with Jane saying, James Jordan, we were very excited that he was doing it. But his actual skating skills at the beginning were really very weak, very poor, and it was only the fact that he went away and worked really hard that moved him on. These comments come after Happy Monday's star Bez, 57, admitted contestants with dance experience to have an advantage after he was voted out of the show. The star left the ITV show two weeks ago after losing in a skate-off against Coronation Street's Sally Denever. He told The Sun, for everybody, we're all in the same boat. Everyone has to learn how to skate and that is such a hard skill to learn. You've got to give everyone credit for it. To do it on ice, it's such a difficult skill. Being a dancer will make your skating appear really graceful and beautiful. But they've all started off in the same boat and they all have the work and I think it's not fair to criticize people because they have got dance skills. Last week, Brendan and Pussycat Doll Kimberly Wyatt topped the leaderboard once again. Meanwhile, Sally was sent home after a dance-off with her professional partner Matt Evers against BMX racer Kai White and partner Tippy Packard. Dancing on Ice returns to ITV tomorrow night at 6.30pm.